you know, these interviews are pretty popular in the architecture field. I mean, everyone here knows about them. I always wanted to be in one of them. And I knew my day would come soon enough, so I had to be prepared for it. Interview. What do you mean an interview? Since when did he even do that? Are you wearing this here? You can say that I'm more than ready for this. Oh, why did they choose me? Oh, that's simple. Because I have always been a perfect example of what an architect is. A hardworking person. It's because of my purpose and this like passion project of mine. You probably heard of it, you know. Understanding my purpose was easy since they thought I wanted to make my name known around the world. Of course, back then, I wanted to be a celebrity. But then I got to college and she's architecture as my mayor. I thought that a good way to make my name known and make a positive impact in the world could be show be a architecture, maybe in front of a building or a park. My purpose has always been to make a significant positive impact in the world. You know, fill it with creativity and inspiration and positivity. And now you might be asking, Gabby, how you did that? easy so it all started like eight years ago i had this new student experience class at valencia college and in there they made me do uh, a lot of assignments about my purpose and my values my strengths my interests and how it was all connected and okay wait hear me out i know it sounds boring i passed out two at the beginning but finding out about my talents and strengths was actually really helpful i'm serious okay here this is from one of the assignments back in the day. So, to the talents of being an arranger, futuristic, restorative, and a responsible person, I can show people that everything is possible if you work for it. My talents help me do everything without going crazy. By being a responsible and arranger person, I'm able to work, study, and do the things that I love, you know, like going to concerts, hang out, travel, stuff like that. And because of my talents, so futuristic and competitive, I work to make my dreams come true. And being futuristic also helps me visualize and think what could help others, how architecture could impact others. You see? Okay. That's where it all connects. Okay. Values like responsibility and perseverance, I'll be able to pursue small goals that are going to help me make a significant positive impact in the world. I know, pretty smart, right? I heard that like eight, seven years ago. And it still holds to this day. Um, college pathway, let's see. Let's pick it up from my new student experience class and just go from there. In there, they made us do this like handy, dandy piece of paper. It's not here. Uh, somewhere in here. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, it's definitely not that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so this handy dandy piece of paper. These are all the classes that I took in order to finish my AA degree at Valencia College and start my architecture degree so that later on I could transfer to UF. We have History of Architecture, History of Architecture 2, History of Architecture 3. There's also English class here. Transferring to UF was a mess. It wasn't hard, but it was a lot. Back in 2023, to transfer to UF, you needed to have your a a degree or at least 60 credit hours you also needed to complete an online application and pay the 30 dollar fee send your transcripts have the foreign language requirement that was only uf and then to apply for the college of architecture you needed to take 661 pre-call trigonometry and another bunch of my classes that you're never gonna use later at work let's not even talk about money because that was another mess it was frustrating and expensive because in college everything costs like 20 dollars more than it actually should cost the average cost of the classes that i had left at valencia after my new student experience class was about eight thousand and then to complete my bachelor of design architecture at uf was around 11 twelve thousand and that was after I did some research because I found out about the financial center at Valencia and it did help a lot. I was able to get some good money from the Coca-Cola Scholarship, the Architects Foundation, and I used to work at Tech Play back in the day. And they had this remarkable, remarkable future Chick-fil-A scholarship. That was some really good money right there. 
I graduated in the class of 2024 for UF with a degree in architecture. Then I had to take the architect registration examination, complete a three-year internship. I was up on my class, so it was pretty easy for me to get an internship here at Gensler's. I started back in 2023. It was the best, and after my internship, they offered me a job here at Gensler's. The office is amazing, and the life of an architect is even better. Architects are the ones that make the world look cute. We design and plan houses, factories, buildings, whatever structure you could think about, it was an architect. And if that structure was cute, it was a gangster architect. If you ask me, I think an architect should be creative, outgoing, a problem solver, and a team member. That one's really important because this job is all about collaborations either with clients or engineers and you gotta be pretty social and have a lot of patience and I mean a lot of patience an architect should be able to draw and design the overall look of the structure being built you need analytical skills organizational skills technical skills visualization skills you need to look in the future and visualize how the overall building will look once completed. Yeah, I don't see it. The daily life of an architect. Well, it is really barren, honestly. We do have office hours, but we move around depending on the project. We need to develop the construction plans with the engineers and the clients. We need to prepare the structure specifications, scale drawings, manage construction contracts. Uh, we have a bunch of meetings and deadlines. It all depends. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's pretty chill. You get to know amazing people. You get to work with amazing people. Feel from customer service. He's a good friend of mine. You should say hi. Um, and, and you don't get very work. I still have the time to do the things that I love and get my beauty sleep. And the best part of it all, is the money you can pay around eighty thousand per year what i mean i love my job don't get me wrong but i still got bills to pay yeah and i think that's pretty much it to the to the camera okay yeah sure well thank you so much my name is Gabriela cardenas and i hope to see you at the office one day